rolling. As you and I continue tonight, the World Bank says Lebanon is suffering one of the worst economic crises anywhere, and I mean since the mid-19th century, or at least they do. And over the last year and a half, the country's been hit with a financial meltdown, the pandemic, and last year's deadly explosion in Beirut. The World Bank estimates that Lebanon's economy shrank more than 20% last year, an amount typically associated with wars, and it's expected to shrink further this year. Nasser Saidi is a former Lebanese economy minister and former vice governor of Lebanon Central Bank. Now president of Nasser Saidi and Associates joins me from Dubai. All right, sir. I mean, everybody's had a hand in this fiasco, but now it is beyond serious and it's beyond devastating. So when the World Bank says it's the worst or one of the worst since the mid 19th century, what do you make of it? Well, the World Bank is is accurate. Uh, it's probably the third worst after Chile in 1926 and the Spanish Civil War. But the main difference, I think, in those two cases, you had coups, you had political coups. In this case, it's a man made disaster. Um, the people responsible for it are still in power. And they're continuing with policies which are leading to a further deterioration in right. GDP, right. increased poverty, inflation, exchange rate depreciation, and increasingly now uh, mass migration of the population. So that's what we're looking forward to. Carlos Ghosn was on the programme last week. You're familiar with him, of course. Um, talking about this. You talk about the currency and the necessity of the currency, stabilising that. Listen to what he says. I want to know if you agree. Today, the, the most urgent issue is to stabilise the currency. As long as the currency is being vol volatile and you have a huge inflation devaluation of the currency, you can't fix anything else. The first thing is stabilise the currency, then uh, address the economical, the, the economical issues of, of Lebanon. Lebanon has been for many, many years with political problems and political conflicts, but the economy was reasonably uh, going in reasonable shape. The finance were reasonably held. So I, I think you should start by stabilizing the currency. How do you do that? When there's no confidence and the various sides can't agree, and there's the question of violence and explosions, how, how do you stabilize the currency? Can you? Well, you're talking about a multiple exchange rate system. I mean, several several exchange rates from a fixed rate, which nobody really uses except for subsidies by the central bank, uh, to a market rate, uh, which is running at about 13,000. And you're right, uh, you can only stabilize it only if you have an overall macroeconomic, fiscal, financial plan. And that's not on the cards right now. What you really need is an agreement with the IMF you can't stabilize the currency if people don't have confidence in the banking system so, and including yeah. the central bank and in government. So what you need is a comprehensive approach. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. I mean, I, sorry, but finally, I mean, how, where does it start? If you're going to put this right, in your view, where do we start? Well, immediately, I mean, there, there are certain things you want to avoid. You want to avoid Lebanon becoming another failed state on the shores of the Mediterranean. Certainly the Europeans and nobody else wants that. You don't want another security problem there. Um, you want to address the humanitarian crisis, which is growing. 55% of the population is now poor. 25% is tw food poor. And then you've got this issue of deteriorating security, uh, as, as, as you would expect. So those are things that you need to immediately address, even if you don't have a government in place. But the next step, I think, is absolute priority, is to form a government at the shortest time possible. And you need to give that government extraordinary powers, because you have a very limited time before elections in 2022. And that means you've got less than one year to act and introduce right. a whole series. Uh, that's really what you need to do immediately. As we go through this, sir, you'll be back to help us understand more. I'm grateful for you tonight on that. Thank you. Thank you.